Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your September 2021 reading. And as always, it's general reading. It may not resonate with every Gemini out there. So just take the messages that resonate with you. Okay, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Uh, in the monthly readings, I do pick up all of the energies, so whether it's love, career, finances, situations with family, friends, what have you. All right. Interesting. You already have the High Priestess and the Four of Swords popping out here. Okay. So it feels like you're trying to gain some insight from spirit, right? your intuition, so uh, just a couple things before we get started. I am going to um, note a couple things in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below. Uh, if you would like to check that out, it will be for the love portion only of the reading. Uh, additionally, uh, you can enter my giveaway. I do give away free personal readings each month. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. And with that, you know, there's some other information below my other channel. There's some videos uh, that can help you. So check that out if you like. And let's get started. So I'm just going to pull um, some cards here. I'm doing a new spread called the Horseshoe Spread. So here we go. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Gemini, September 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, so let's get started, Gemini. In your past position here, you have the moon card, okay? So, you know, it can be an energy of deep emotion, right? You may be going something through something where there is a lot of emotions. It also can be that energy here of the fear of the unknown or fear of getting hurt or getting burned by a situation. Uh, could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancerian, all right? So it's just an energy here where, you know, there may be something un unknown here that's uh, going to be revealed. So you may have found out about some sort of secret, right? Or you just may be going through a very emotional time. Depending when you watch this video, we are in a period of a new moon. So that can be that as well now we're going to clarify some of these cards as well so in your current position you have the temperance card you could be dealing with a sagittarius so i feel there's an energy here that some of you may be um, coming to a place where you're really trying to balance out your emotions right maybe balance out any fears trying to gain balance right and stability here uh, for some of you, this also can be about divine timing, right? This may be a situation where there is some sort of timing involved, right? But we'll clarify the cards. In your hopes and fears position, you have the king of wands, right? So for some of you, I feel like this is definitely uh, a fear here with the moon card. Maybe fear of taking some sort of action right? There may be something here that you're needing to pursue or something that you're needing to take the lead on. But I get that energy that there may be fears. But for some of you, this can also go the reverse, right? This can be something that you're hopeful about, right? Now, can be hopeful about starting something that you're very passionate about or hopeful uh, that you can take the lead on something. But this also can be somebody else you're hoping to take some sort of action. Now, in your challenge position, you have the devil card. Okay, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. And I want to say here too, you always, you have Aries and Leo, strong Sag. <clears throat> so Capricorn energy here, um, 
this is your challenge, the devil. So some of you, you know, you may be obsessively thinking about a situation, right? With the moon card here, you may be letting your fears get the best of you. Uh, this also can be something unhealthy or toxic around you as well. And as I said, we're going to clarify. <clears throat> the energy around you, though, you have the page of pentacles, which is very nice. It tells me there is some sort of message or good news that is coming in for you. Okay. And um, your outcome position, you have the Knight of Cups. So I do see some sort of proposal some sort of proposition. Um, it even could be, for some of you, it could be an apology or even a date, new love, right? Or somebody here you're already dealing with. Now, on the bottom of the deck, which is upcoming, you do have the Page of Swords. Now, for some of you, it may be about you need to, to get more information before you're able to take some sort of action here, maybe doing some research Okay, some of you also too may have been uh, become recently single, right? Maybe you're, you're doing some online dating, but this also can be somebody here checking you out um, as well, right? Because I do see some sort of offer or proposal coming in for you. Some of you may be needing to do some online searching, you know, as far as a job position. You have the Six of Wands, okay? So it does show me here success, victory, right, or somebody um, who is definitely watching you, right, they're seeing you, so maybe on social media, or, you know, in the work environment, or you do something that you're in the public eye, so let's uh, clarify some of these cards, <clears throat> let's uh, start with the temperance, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance, why is the temperance card, this is your current energy, you have the star card, the seven of pentacles, the five of cups, and you have the prince of swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then bottom of the deck here, you have the chariot. Okay, strong Cancerian energy there. Yeah, I feel like this is a period of time... Um, you know, where you may be doing some inner reflection, some healing, okay, um, recovering from a situation. <clears throat> For some of you, I feel like you could be recovering from a financial situation, right? Um, trying to replenish your savings. I'm getting that energy as well. Uh, but I really feel an energy of healing and balance in your situation. And I feel like you're, you're reflecting on things, okay? Uh, you have the Five of Cups, which again shows me here, um, or I shouldn't say again, but it shows me here that there is some sort of disappointment, right? There was some sort of loss, right? There, I feel too with this moon, there could have been something in the past that, you know, it was an illusion, right? It felt like it was there, but it wasn't for whatever reason, whether you were dealing with a particular person or not. Okay, there's some sort of disappointment here, some sort of sadness, and I feel like you're you're trying to find your balance again, you're healing here. Like I said, this could be about money or this can be a relationship with this particular person, whether it is a family member, a friend, a lover, right? You have the, the uh, Prince of Swords, okay? So with this energy, I'm getting... Um, that there is, I feel like there could be lack of communication between you and someone or miscommunication. Um, there's that energy here too, you know, of, you know, maybe needing to do some investigating or research about a situation. Some of you could be dealing with a child. This could be a child that you're dealing with as well, right? So um, there's some sort of action you're needing to take in your situation, I feel here with this King of Wands but, or someone else's. Let's clarify why is the Devil card here. This is in your challenge position. Why is the Devil card here, please? Okay, so you have the Prince of Pentacles. You have the Eight of Swords. 
King of Cups. Okay, Ace of Wands and bottom of the deck here you have the Prince of Cups. Okay, so the Prince of Cups is what you don't see coming in your situation. So, Prince of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Okay. King of Cups, Ace of Wands. So, you know, it's an energy here with the devil where I feel, you know, it's an energy where you're feeling stuck. You're, you're feeling tied and bound to a situation or having to let go of a past situation or disappointment here. Whatever this loss was for you, whatever this hurt was, this also, you know, this Eight of Swords can be an energy, you know, of of fear too, right? Uh, an energy too here of, um, you know, I feel with this Prince of Pentacles, if this is a financial situation, right? Feeling like the money isn't coming in or feeling stuck right or there's not a lot of money coming in okay because i do see some disappointment or recovering from a financial situation for others this could be an energy where you're hoping that someone here is going to reach out to you right you can't you know you're stuck on a past situation is what i'm getting there now you have the king of cups and you have the ace of wands right I feel too you could be dealing um, with someone or a relationship here where someone isn't really taking any action in the situation. It feels like they're not communicating or it's very little or and this person doesn't share a whole lot I get here. You know, if it's a relationship, they don't share a whole lot emotionally. But this also can be your own feelings and emotions feeling stuck, okay? Letting the emotions get to you in the situation, right? And this Ace of Wands, okay? I feel like it's really a situation where it's... um. Maybe delaying you from moving forward with your passions, right? Um, or it can be an energy where you're wanting another opportunity with someone. You're having a hard time letting go of a connection here. This can be a person you're dealing with. But the energy around you, you have the Page of Pentacles, right? So let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Why is this Page of Pentacles here, please? Why is this... Page of Pentacles here, please. Okay, you have the Five of Swords. You have the Ace of Cups. The Ten of Wands. All right, and bottom of the deck here, you have the Alchemist. Okay, this this is uh, telling me that there's some sort of new beginning happening here. You're manifesting a new beginning in your life, right? You may have uh, some fears about... Um, the unknown, the future here, taking some sort of action. But I feel like this uh, good news that's coming in for you could be money, could be a job offer, could be a new love here, right? Or somebody sending you some sort of message. I feel it's going to help you release the burdens of the past here. The conflict, right? The struggles. And this may be something that you've been struggling with for quite some time some of you it may be about a new love leaving a new love in the past i mean an old love in the past right a past person that you had conflict with right and you and somebody new reaches out to you and look here you have the ace of cups for others i feel this could be a rekindle as well receiving a message from someone around you this person there could be an age difference here i'm getting with this person, like I said, it could be a child, right? If you have a younger child who, where there was some sort of argument, I feel uh, that this is going to be restored. There is going to be happiness between you and this person. Okay, so re take it how it resonates with you. So there is some sort of offer coming in, whether it's a date, a new romantic interest, an apology, right? Or it can be, um, if you're dating online, you could be meeting somebody new. Why is the Knight of Cups here, please? Why is the Knight of Cups here, please? 
All right, you have the moon card. Strong Pisces, Cancer, and Two of Wands. And the High Priestess. Okay. Bottom of the deck, look at that, lovers. So it's, it's definitely a very... Um, life-changing decision here something very important a choice a decision something very close to your heart now if this is not about love for you there is some sort of decision i feel you're having to make with this offer okay i feel too uh with this page of pentacles it can be an energy where you know you may be getting some sort of job offer and uh, and you know maybe it's not the money um that you wanted here but it is a job offer I feel that's going to make you very happy, okay? It's showing that energy, right? For some of you, you may have been in some sort of manager or leadership position, and there's another position that um, is coming in for you or job, and it may not be at a manager level, okay? And so that might be something you're having to make that decision on. For others, if this is love for you, I do feel this is an energy where... Um, you went through something with this person, okay, if this is not a new love, right? Whether it's new love or it's somebody you're already dealing with, I do sense here that with the moon card, the high priestess, and the two of wands, I feel you have some sort of fear, like I said before, of taking some sort of action or making some sort of decision here, right? I feel like you're manifesting a new beginning. There's an offer being presented to you. And this is about you making the decision, right? Using your wisdom and your intuition here, all right? But I do see there is some sort of fears, whether that is the fear of getting hurt, right? If you're dealing uh, with somebody from the past um, or just fear of the unknown of a new connection here. Is that something you, you're wanting, right? Um, or a job offer, as I said. But there is some, it's very nice because I feel like you're recovering from something here. I feel you're um, in an energy where burdens of the past or this unhealthy energy here is going to be released. You're going to release those burdens. There's something new coming in for you, something very nice. So... Gemini, I'm going to take this to the extended, um, we're going to look at the past person, what they're thinking, feeling, their upcoming actions, love messages, guidance. We'll take a peek at new love as well. So I hope to see you on the extended, Gemini. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.